podcast where we focus on helping you claim what's rightfully yours, your health, and your freedom. We explore the three main areas of health, the physical realm, the biochemical realm, and the mental and emotional realm. We also explore all the areas of lifestyle we can find that will help you live more abundantly, regardless of where you're starting. And remember, in life, you'll either make excuses or create results. You choose. I'm your host, Dr. Josh Hant, and I'm glad to be with you here today. Make sure to head on down to the show notes and click on the link to join our tribe of human-powered life heroes, where we'll update you on new shows, events, product launches, and so much more. Now, it's time to enjoy the show. Hey everyone, Dr. Josh Hant. I'm here for the Human Powered Life Podcast. This is the last show of 2023. We started way back when, really not that far back. June 1st, 2022 was our first episode that dropped. Then we had a week later, we had our first guest, which was Tim James, the health hero. Then we charged forward all the way through until now, where we have the final episode where you get yours truly to just share my little recap of what I thought think about the show, the guests we've had, what's gone on in my life and how I'm using this to hopefully encourage and empower all of you to be better, healthier human beings and live that human powered life lifestyle. Frankly, if you've not been way back to our old show, which was called the, the, was called the it was called Lifestyle Locker Radio. There are over 270 episodes. There are amazing guests, people like Dr. Joe Dispenza, Dr. Josh Axe, Ben Greenfield, Paul Check and so many more. You can learn tons. If you just go through it, you get a great schooling on, on being natural and healthy for a lifetime, let alone jumping into our episodes we've had just this year alone in the Human Power Life podcast. So I've learned so much from our guests, some of the people that have had a huge impact personally on my life. First, I'm just going to share, you know, I got this shirt on that says the Penguin Movement for Recovery. This is uh, from, from an event I went to this year from one of our guests. His name is Charlie Engel, and we've become close. This guy is an amazing ultra marathoner that has done amazing things. 30 years sober, going on 31. You know, I messaged him for the holidays. I said, hey, Charlie, you know, I hope you're doing really well. Uh, grateful that we got to meet and connect and become friends over the past six or so months. Uh, great to be your friend and, and, and really appreciate you. And I said, and he all he said is, is likewise, great to, to have you as part of the tribe here. But more importantly, it's like, listen, set your calendar for, I believe it's July 23rd, 2023, for 31 years of sobriety, we're going to be running again at the Penguin. So stay tuned for that. So Charlie's been a great friend uh, over these past handful of months and has really inspired me to push harder, do more, but also step back and realize that movement is so much more than just the physical aspect so much more than just the mental aspect. It can help transform humans' lives. And the movement for recovery is just that, helping people break through and, and recover from addictions. So this has been a really cool journey for me. In this journey, I've done multiple ultra marathons over the course of uh, the show. And just a few to mention, one was a 12-hour event, which was close to my house, which was a lot of fun. I came in, I believe it was second place for my age group, Yahoo, right? Very, very cool. The second one was the Penguin, which wasn't really a race, but it was a 30-hour event. And this event, I believe the temperature, if I'm correct, the heat index was 107 degrees. We started at 11 a.m. and then went through. So you can imagine we're starting this thing at like 90 plus degrees already before we get started. And it's freaking hot. So now I know what it's like to run the sun with humidity because this was in Maryland. And I got to run with Charlie uh, and all of the amazing people that showed up and contributed their time, energy, effort, money that donated. So thank you for those of you that helped donate to this cause. I want to thank you because many of you on the show did. So thank you so much for that. Um, but holy cow, the the connections and the, the community of running is so powerful. And I know people think it's very cultish like CrossFit or other things. And I'll tell you what. These things are not cults. When you start to be and hang around part of a community that is engaged in being healthy, you do healthy things. And that's why you'll see CrossFitters constantly posting 
pictures of their workouts, of their exercise, of their sweat angels, which are those things they see on the floor when they're doing, you know, laying down on the floor after a workout, which they call a wad. You'll see ultra marathoners running through the mountains. You'll see sprinters. It's really cool. And, and I encourage all of you to start sharing the really cool things in your health online. Because if we start to flood the, the, the online scene with fitness and not just, hey, look at my six pack, look at my biceps or whatever it may be. If doing hard things and doing challenging things and doing fun things, that inspires others to do more for themselves. That's very powerful. We can use social media as a tool for good. So I encourage you all to do that. Let me just scroll through our lists, our list here. Um, so we have a really cool guy, which got me encouraged to do a little bit more. This guy is Daniel Eisenman. He has a the company called Tribe Vitamins. He did this really cool stuff. He's got a book called Breaking Normal. Definitely go out and get it. And before Charlie Engel's got a book called The Running Man. So get both of these books. Go through them. But uh, Daniel Eisenman is a really interesting dude and. He's got this company called Tri Vitamins, which is all like grass fed, grass finished, bison liver, and then other organs and things like that. Um, at the point we met, I had already just started taking natural, or natural, raw, grass fed, grass finished liver every single day. Essentially, think of it as a shooter. Every morning, I'm drinking. I add a little water to the liver that's thawed out that I've previously frozen into ice cube trays. I just do a shooter of raw liver. I've been energized. I've been really feeling really, really awesome over the years doing this and or over the years, over the months doing this. And when I met him, I tried his supplement out called Tri Vitamins, which was absolutely stellar. It is it is nature's vitamin before we made vitamins, right? It's really, really cool stuff. Um, and his book, Breaking Normal, is absolutely amazing. If you want to help start to transform you from the inside out, it's a great place to start. Anthony Kunkel, another crazy runner. This dude runs two marathons at the pace someone usually runs one. Really cool dude. Uh, check his episode out. It's episode eight. We have stuff on sleep with Daniel, uh, excuse me, Devin Burke. We had the Got Mold guy, right? We had Jason Earl. Holy cow, super cool. Uh, check out the episode down there because what I didn't know is that mold is running rampant in people's homes and apartments and things everywhere. So go through this. You can get a kit for your home, which is a great starting place. And then if God forbid you need to do some work, you can hire a pro to get there as well. Um, who else was uh, right up my alley here that I, I mean, I think they're all up my alley. I mean, we went through like EMF stuff with uh, Jason France. And this is a guy that takes care of athletes, but helps protect them from these you know, I'm surrounded by technology here. Do I have my, my blue blocking glasses on right now? But I am absolutely surrounded by LED lighting, computer monitors, which you see me on here, computer, microphones, all sorts of things. So definitely check out him. Um, who else we have here? We have... Hey, we're giving you a short break here where you can head down to the show notes or lifestylelocker.com and join our tribe of human-powered life heroes. You'll be the first to know about new shows, events, product launches, affiliate specials, and more. And now, back to the show. You know, uh, Chris Burrs with the ESS60. We've got um, the Athos Dive of Peter Petitsis. One that was a really interesting and really, really cool uh interview that I really enjoyed because I've been using the equipment for some time is Patrick Porter, Dr. Patrick Porter, who's the inventor of BrainTap. If you don't know what this is, look up BrainTap, T-A-P, online uh, and get to the episode. Listen to the episode. This guy is beyond brilliant. His brain is hugongous and really intelligent, but he's found a way for us to almost hack meditation, hack getting better using technology hacking our brains to be better without drugs or surgery or chemicals. Super, super cool. We had another EMFer, um, which was R blank. Really, really cool. I'm trying to think who else here that that I think, you know, technology-wise, nutrition-wise, also Ian Mitchell. This guy uh, owns a company called Wizard Sciences, and I got a chance to test his products out, which holy crap. And uh, they help you become a little bit of Superman. They're also a carbon 60 molecule. And I have one called the Olympic RX as, one, as well as one that is called, uh, I think it's a cognitive function. I'm not sure it's brain RX or something like that, but it's the one for cognitive function. And I should be remembering this now that I'm <laughs> talking about it. Uh, really cool stuff. And I've been using it for months. Really high quality technology uh, supplementation. 
that helps humans perform better. To give you an idea, both of the gentlemen that I spoke to about the carbon-60 molecule, brilliant. Chris Burrs and Ian Mitchell. And they there was research on this. Get this. This is really, really neat. And this stuff's like really sick to me. When they did a study with these rats that have a predetermined lifespan, which is kind of sad when I think about it. This is lab lab mat, uh, mice or lab rats, if you will. I think they're mice. But they live for 12 days. They have, they're born with some kind of cancer. It's just sad. But when they started to feed them this this carbon-60 molecule, they started to live 93% longer. So I'm like thinking to myself, 93% longer? What is that for a human? What if we start taking this at a young age or start doing this? Does it help our body evolve? Granted, yes, our internal and external environments need to be free from any interference. That's where chiropractic comes in. That's where eating healthy and moving well come in. But if you start to add little good things from time to time like this, or even on, I should say time to time, you should add them on a regular basis like the carbon-60 molecule, What's our potential, right? Is there more potential? Really, really cool. Then we we talked to Michelle Slater, the PhD, and she's talking about you know starving to heal. Get her book. I don't have it in here in my office right now. Actually, I should have it in my house because it's on my queue to read. But holy cow, her story is amazing. And again, I want you to go through all of these. I, I, and I apologize if I miss some of you that are listening. Some of the guests that we've had that are listening. All of you have been amazing. I'm just poking at some of them as I scroll through, and we talk about. Yeah, you know, light water, which is this, um, what do we call it? I'm having a, a brain fart on the name of it. Um, deuterium depleted water. So that's light water. So you can learn about this. This stuff's super cool. And then I had a dear friend was my last episode. Um, this is someone I met, oh God, it's got to be like almost 20 plus years ago. His name is Dr. Lou Corletto. He's a chiropractor, but he is totally transformed. He's taking himself, I want to say out of the profession. He's just gotten deeper into the connection of our principles and purpose of chiropractic, but he's helping transform people. Just think of him of like, like a Tony Robbins or something like that. Uh, super cool. You can dive deep, deep, deep into his, his episode. And we're going to be having him come back on as well, because we're going to be doing a 12 part series on chiropractic. Because I could tell you what, so many people are so interested in natural health and chiropractic, they just don't know what it is, how to find out where to find chiropractors that may resonate with them. Because frankly, I want people going to chiropractors that are going to not just help them with discomfort. That's like, that's like, a, like, you know, a small fraction of what we do. When you start to live the chiropractic, the innate lifestyle and start to get adjusted and, and connect and get better, the body heals. It's quite amazing. So we're going to be doing a 12-part series on uh, on chiropractic, and, and Dr. Lou is going to be one of the guests that we're going to have. We just got to make sure we can connect with him because this guy travels around the world teaching uh, and exploring this amazing planet. And he likes to be underwater, scuba diving, likes to jump out of planes. So he's got to find him when he's in between, when he's on like, right, when he's on hard ground. So what do I see and where do I see us going in the next season, if you will, of the Human Power Life podcast? We have a handful of guests that we're going to start recording. We've been getting tons and tons and tons of requests for guests on the show, which I'm very, very grateful for. So thank you for the PR companies, for the people that are searching for places to share their story, their vision, their technology, their nutrition, their whatever it may be, sharing their journey with us so people can grow uh, from the inside out. I want to thank you, but I, I'm, I'm pumped that we have this growing number of people that are searching out and finding our show. So thank you for that. We do have to vet everybody and go through all of the details. There have been people that have wanted to be on the show that did not resonate. So even though they may be great people, um, our purpose, our principles, our, you know, our values didn't line up. So we didn't didn't ultimately bring people on the show for that reason. So we're going to do the 12-part series on chiropractic. I have a super cool guy. So for those of you that are in the ultra running world that that know Charlie Engel, right, is a running man, this, this crazy guy that ran across the Sahara Desert, I'm going to bring you to another OG in the ultra running world. We have Dean Karnazes and if you don't know who he is, just look him up. I'm going through his new book right now, and it's called Runner's High. And, you know, when I started running, I'm just going to give you a little quick story on this, on this guy, Dean, because it's really cool. 
I started, I ran my first few ultra marathons and my parents were cleaning out my old bedroom in their house. And he's like, my dad's like, your mom's like, here, take this box of stuff. And I remember the year of the book, it may have been like 2006 or something like that. Um, I pulled out this book out of this box of stuff that I'd either throw out, keep, whatever I wanted to do. And I look at the book. It was called Ultra Marathon Man by Dean Karnazes. I had gotten this book before I believe, before I even started running, period, right? And I'm like, huh, let me read it. And I went through this book so fast and started to go through all of his content and search everything Dean. And I am pumped and, and so excited that I actually get to have a conversation with him on my show on the Human Power Life podcast. But this guy also, like Charlie Angle, and that's who the connection was, is – is, is nicknamed the Ultramarathon Man. And this is going to be a super cool show. So I'm excited to share that with you uh, on this journey. We have other medical doctors. We have people that have been censored uh, over the course of not just these past two to three years, but for possibly decades at this point in natural health because they were helping people with cancer. And that's like a, a dirty word when you can actually help someone heal from cancer versus put them through the... Um, if you will, the, the machine, the cancer machine that, that you know, listen, I, I don't want anybody to have cancer and I, you know, I appreciate people getting help, but this is like a, uh, such a business, unfortunately, but these people are getting help naturally by what this one doctor. So we're bringing him on to the show. I'm pumped about that. So I want to wish all of you a happy, healthy new year. Let's charge into 2023. Like it's important. And I also want you to take the time to sit down I know we don't have a lot of time left before you know the new year starts after listening to the show, but sit down, write out what you want to get out of 2023. Write what you want to get out of life. What's your, what do you want? What do you truly, truly want? And you know, I, I sometimes struggle with this question. It's really a deep question. And I started a practice, which I started years ago. And I took, I had taken probably like a year plus, maybe two year break, I, you know, which is called journaling. And in the morning, I meditate and I, I read a little bit in this, this book on stoicism. It's like a one-day meditation per day. Like it's a one page to read. And then I end up journaling. And I can tell you it's, it's bringing back great memories. It's engaging my thought process. I'm not typing into something. I'm actually like writing. This is not the journal, but I'm actually writing on paper. So I encourage all of you to go through what you want out of life, what you want out of this upcoming year, whether it be financial, health, fitness, you name it, because I, I ultimately want you to start to grab hold of this and get some little wins along the way. Because if you start to get little wins, what's possible? The big win, right? And, and I want you to keep moving forward, but find out what you really want out of life and maybe why you really want what you want out of life. So take the time to do that. Be around your loved ones. Do what you love and enjoy the rest of this year. And I appreciate you, and I'll see you in 2023. We'll start off with a fresh episode, an interview for 2023, hopefully. If not, you're going to get me, and uh, we'll talk about potential things that happened on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I'm just kidding. Uh, those are kept secret. I'm just kidding. I'm a real person, just like all of you. So have a great, amazing New Year, and we'll see you in 2023. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning into this episode of the Human Powered Life Podcast. Make sure to head over to lifestylelocker.com to check out all the details on the show and to watch part two of this episode, which is only in video format. We also have this audio portion in video format if you want. Once again, I'm your host, Dr. Josh Hant for the Human Powered Life Podcast, and I'm looking forward to staying connected with you as a Human Powered Life Hero. Remember to join the tribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.